from Studio 3 at Buzz TV. It's The Horse's Mouth with Tom McManus. All right, welcome into another edition of The Horse's Mouth here on Buzz TV at my bar, of course, at Tommy Max. We're talking sales, we're talking marketing, we're talking the meta. It's going to be a lot of fun. Me and the ladies hanging out this time around, brought to you by our good friends at truckcrashlaw.com and the carpet. Man, let's welcome in the panel. Whitney Mincy is here. Hey, Whitney. Hello. From Client Focus Media. Yes. Welcome. Thank you. Is this your second time on the show? Maybe first time? It's first time, actually. All right. Welcome. Yes. Thank you. How are you liking your gig here so far at Client Focus Media? You know, we're a few weeks in. I'm having fun, yep. meeting a lot of cool people, so no complaints. So you're still here? I'm still here. That's I'm surviving so That's far. That's a good thing. Cool. Well, great to have you. Thank you. On the show. Megan Bordage is here. Hey, Megan. Hi. How are you? AMB good. International. Correct. That's a new venture for you, although you've been in sales and marketing for a long time. Tell us about AMB. Yeah, so AMB is a sales consultancy business. Okay. Uh, I've just gone out of the corporate world a couple of months ago. Cool. Spent the last 17 years of my life in sales um, as vice president of sales and marketing and really okay. have a passion for training and coaching and building sales programs. Okay. So cool. I decided to go out on my own just a few months ago nice. and uh, now helping small and mid-sized businesses grow a sustainable sales program. Cool. And uh, so I work with all types of different companies, but really focused on small and mid-sized. What, what's the basis of your program? Like what do, what do you, yeah, what's the foundation? So, so essentially what I do is I work with businesses for a couple hours a week or a couple of days a week. I'll come in and help okay. them completely revamp their sales program. So that can okay. be anything from the sales methodology that they're using to drive more revenue. It could be coaching and training their sales staff or their sales managers mm -hmm. to be more effective in front of their customers. Um, so it's really an end-to-end -end service starting from sales hiring and onboarding all the way through coaching and developing leaders. Okay, good. Good for you. Yeah, and then, you. what were you, two months in? Just a couple months and in, how's it yeah. Going? Good well, so good. far. Yeah, good. I've met a lot of really great people and have built just a really solid network of other fractional leaders. Yep. So that fractional business is really growing. It's the way of the future, which is where executives come in for a few hours a week sure. and yeah. work with organizations to help them get better. And cool. so I have that network of marketing leaders and uh, really exciting time. Awesome. Great to have yeah. you on the show. Thank Thanks you. for being here. Leah Ressler is here from the San Marco Merchants. Hi Association. There. Did I get that right? You did. All right. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Happy to be here. Tell us about the uh, Merchant or San Marco Merchants Association. Uh, as the name would imply, yeah. we are an association that serves to promote local business <laughs> <laughs> and focusing on the San Marco community that we have, which okay. we are cool. very pleased to have. Yeah. You guys here as Absolutely. one of our members. No doubt. Um, no we've doubt. got about a hundred members right now, cool. and. All kinds of events that we put on, beautification efforts, so just trying to do what we can. It's a great to, neighborhood. Yeah. I mean, it's one of our many great neighborhoods, but it, San Marco's Definitely. been around it's, for obviously a long time. Special. It is. It's really cool, and the square is cool, the town center, whatever yep. you call it, is yep, very San nice. Marco square. And you're going to be doing more here on Buzz TV? That's right. Starting okay. next week, I will be co-hosting with you, which I'm very cool. excited awesome. about. Awesome. And we'll be Look having all of the, the local San Marco merchants on here to cool. share what makes this such a great place. Awesome. Well, thanks for being here. My pleasure. Summer, how Hi. are you? Summer Thompson. <laughs> nice to meet you. Phantom here. nerds. <laughs> What are we talking about here? Um, today I wanted to come on and talk about what we do at Phantom Nerds. What you guys do? Uh, we're a small mom and pop, mom and pop shop, uh, okay. marketing, starting out on the marketing side currently. Okay. Um, we give that small touch that you get um, with a small business, but we reach over a hundred, more than your Super Bowl ads every year. Oh, wow. <laughs> so we That's are great. trying to branch out into that right now okay. and um, focusing on that in the time being and uh, really fostering our network with Meta and close, working closely with them and trying to foster those networks with other businesses and brands. Yeah. That Meta world is turning, I mean, it's, oh, it's yeah. coming like crazy. Yeah, are yeah. you guys um, involved in the Meta, meta at all? Not yet. I think yeah. sales and marketing really. is going to get yeah. there. Yeah. I, I yeah. think it's got to get there. Oh, we see that avenue. We are just trying to get everybody on board with it. Yeah. It's <laughs> the education. numbers are there. It's education. Oh, right? yes. You guys just got to yes. explain it. And that's what we're trying to do and, yeah. and show people how valuable it is. Okay. Great. Well, great to have you on the show. All right, ladies. So it's just me and you. I feel like I'm at home with my uh, my quartet of <laughs> ladies at home. But uh, women in business, right? Uh, struggles, challenges, but also, uh, you know, what you look forward to, you know, like the future. I'm going to start with you, Megan. What What's the biggest challenge? This is, you know, yeah, your so venture. Do you even feel it? 
today? I do. I think okay. that uh, I think we can all relate that there's a lot of challenges we face as, okay. as women in is business. Is it getting better? I'm, and I, I'm, a, I'm a male, so I don't really know, but is it getting better? It is getting better. Okay. Um, I, I've had this conversation actually twice in the past week, which is some differences between males and females when it comes to business or even taking on leadership roles. Okay. And a lot of times as women, I think that when we're trying to push to own our own business or get leadership roles, a lot of time we lead with competence instead of confidence. Okay. Whereas okay. some of our male counterparts might lead with confidence yeah. over competence, right? Right, right. So They're sometimes more BS in Yeah, what you're a little saying. bit. Okay. I, I wouldn't they, say yeah. it's BS, but yeah, I, yes. would, I would even <laughs> um, say it. You know, so I think the, the for women in business and, and for those of us that are branching out into our yeah. own business is to realize that you don't have to have everything perfect to start. Right. You don't have to have all of the things that a job description says to be well qualified for a role mm -hmm. uh, as you're moving up in leadership position. So for me, it's just getting beyond that natural tendency that I have, as well as a lot of other women, which is I feel like I have to be perfect to go yeah. do something, whereas maybe our male counterparts yeah. don't. That's so, very true. Do you want to expand on that? Cause I got, I got... Well, I my previous business was yeah. in the construction world with landscaping and uh, oh, design and stuff. And, men. Men. Um, well, you know, a yeah, lot of right. great <laughs> people, but um, I, I had yeah. a business partner who was male and yeah. it was not uncommon for people to assume that he was my boss. And, yeah. you know, it was, they That's were funny. gently corrected and yeah. they were very polite. It was yeah. nothing, you know, personal, but that's yeah. just kind of, especially in the construction dominated industries. Yeah. It's very common for people to make assumptions just yep. based on your gender. All right, so you're gonna, you may giggle at this, you may not. So I drive my youngest to school two or three times a week. She goes to La Villa down here, uh, the School of the Arts for Dance. So there's always a concert on the way in here and her friend, and we, we play all types of stuff. But she loves playing, uh, and it caught my attention because I listen, I'm always listening to the lyrics. I have an innate thing about that. And Taylor Swift's The Man have you ever heard The Man by Taylor Swift? I'm not a Taylor Swift. But she's basically <laughs> talking about, if I were a man, I'd be the man. And she's like talking. I mean, it's just, it, it just like, and, I, and I'm sitting, all the guys are like, oh, all right. No, but seriously, like, I was listening. I was like, man, she, she's, she's right. Like, she was talking about, if I had all these, if I was a man and I had all these women, I'd be the man. But I'm a woman, and they just come after me because I've dated some guy. You know what I mean? So you yeah. guys are all like, <laughs> your head like damn right, we right? There. But, oh, right? Me, right? But there's a lot of truth in that. You, you know, it's oh, yeah, yeah. Cool to, I to think oftentimes that. I've seen even my ideas shot down. Like I wasn't mm -hmm. bringing stuff to the table, even yeah. though I was showing that confidence, maybe yeah. because I wasn't showing the confidence. And that is something that I yeah. am still working on every day. Um, and yeah. I think it's very valuable just in general as yeah. a mindset. Yeah. And we have to work on that for our future leaders as well. I'll tell you yeah. what, for my, my girls, I tell them, speak your mind. You're allowed. First of all, you got me as backup, so you're good. But speak your mind. Like, you're allowed to express your opinion. I don't care who you're talking to. As long as it's respectful, you know, and it's not, you know, being vicious or anything like that. But, hey, man, you're allowed to say what you want. You right? Completely that reminds yeah. me of yeah. one thing that I've done recently. Like, I've really been practicing the last few years especially is the like writing an email like a guy <laughs> oh. getting rid of all the pleases and thank yous and yeah. explanations and it's like i can cut this thing in half and yeah. it's still the same point and no one has responded back and said what a jerk yeah. i am right. or, okay here's the done. opposite side because i'm nicer to females on my email like i say little little sure. like thank you very much as opposed to just thanks to a dude like you know what i mean and you should it's just funny no equally. i know <laughs> <laughs> so we can all come to the middle right no, it's but it's funny it's funny how it's yeah. it's like that you know i, know, I look forward to a time where we can freely speak how we want to and take up space without having to be concerned about censoring ourselves or changing things and that's yes. you, guys, you shouldn't exactly. have to have that i mean that just seems crazy today's day and age i wouldn't I say go for it. Let, you know what I say to my kids? Let it rip. The chips Perfect. will fall where they may. We will know? end all our emails with that. <laughs> <laughs> let it rip. That's perfect. That's perfect. Let it rip. Topic said this is approved. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That'll go somewhere, hopefully, for you. I've really enjoyed the conversation. Thanks so much for being here. All right. Hey, you can check out all their profiles right at the website at IWantToBuzz.com. You can see what they're doing. You can contact them, and maybe they can help you with what you're doing out there. There's also a ton of conversations like we have right here at the bar. All welcome at my bar at I Want a Buzz. 
Dot-com, check it out. So until next time, you all stay safe out there and be cool. And we'll see you right here on the horse's mouth. Cheers.